Hi, how beautiful it would be to have an insight of what happens in our relationship dynamics. How beautiful it would be to have an understanding of the energies that are involved in relationship dynamics. My name is Liliana Martins and welcome to In Your Element TV. Today we will be looking into a daily life situation that could happen to any of us and then we will analyze uh, the dynamics and the energies that are involved and we will dissect the divine masculine side of it, the divine feminine side of it and with the intent to give you an awareness of what could happen in your daily lives and also offer you some tips and tools on how to deal with it. So if you're wounded, how to heal it, or if the other person is wounded, how to heal it. So you have better and healthier relationships. Now remember to like, subscribe and notify so we can all go through these times together. And I would say, let's begin, okay? Now, before we go into the understanding of what the relationship dynamics are, I would like to present to you the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine energies and the qualities of these energies. So Divine Masculine energy is very active, very outward, action taken, doing, providing, external safety. So these are dynamics that really, really show up in relationships when you are uh, someone who is very, very strong in the Divine Masculine energy, because these energies exist in all of us. So it's not gender specific, it's they are energies. So I have Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine energies, you have Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine energies. So, if you are centered in these energies, the Divine Masculine, like I said, you're gonna be someone who's more active, someone who's action taker, someone who's a doer. So you gotta be providing, you will want you more external and safety is very much in the core of your uh, being. If you are more Divine Feminine energy orientated, you're gonna be passive, gonna be action taker, but more in a creative way. Inwards, you go inwards more, more nurturing, more healing based and more caring. So if you are in a divine feminine energy, these are the qualities that you might show up in your relationships. So without further ado, we're going, I'm going to give you an example. So I'm going to use John as our example. And uh, we're going, I'm going to present you with a situation in John's life. And we're going to see how he acts and reacts. To this situation. Now, John is someone who is very divine masculine, uh, so I'm going to call it DM, very di divine masculine centered, so as a personality. Now, John works in the office, okay? Now, the scenario is John is in the office and he had a very stressed day and he comes home and he is, he lives with um, he shares a flat with uh, a, few, a few friends, um, or a couple of friends, I'd say. And uh, John comes home and he's very stressed. He's just, just want to relax. So he lies on a sofa with his shoes on. And he's got his shoes on the sofa because, you know, he couldn't be bothered to take them out. Now, one of his flatmates, which is a friend who is much more uh, divine feminine centered energy, comes in the living room and sees John with his shoes um, on the sofa. Now this person is not very happy and it actually tells him off and uh, tells John to take the shoes, um, to take his feet off the sofa or to take his shoes off. Now, just by saying that, this person reminded John of his mother because that, <laughs> that's why he left home, right? So basically, John now is very upset because he was already stressed and upset from coming from the office. Now this person has really totally touched him in a very negative way. So John is now wounded. But he was already wounded before, but he just amplified this wound. Now, we're gonna dissect, we're gonna uh, uh, see possibilities that John could have towards healing this wound so he doesn't carry on repeating this situation in his life because he already had it with his 
his mother and uh, now he has it with a, a friend where he lives and if he doesn't heal this wound uh, that started uh, before he will continue to attract these kind of situations so let's see now John has two possibilities and uh, the possibilities are he can do the, the, the work the healing work himself so this will be him doing it on the self okay or he can reach out to an external which will be a friend or a family relative or to his sister whoever it is so he'll do let's say a friend yeah for, for, for this teaching now if john decides to do it himself now his divine masculine is the one that is wounded now when it comes to healing Divine feminine energy is the one required. It doesn't mean gender specific, it can be anyone, as long as they have a very strong divine feminine energy to hold your space. But if you're doing it yourself, and in this case, John is doing it himself, he will need to have a very strong divine feminine because John will be divine masculine and divine feminine here. Now this one is wounded. So he will require his divine feminine to come in and help him with the healing. Now, when the divine masculine is wounded, it will want to go inward towards the divine feminine. But first, the first reaction of John is to actually now going into his room. So he will leave the living room and he'll go into his room. Why? Because Divine Masculine Energy has a tendency to just want to remove themselves from the place or the, the situation. Because they go to what is very well known as the man cave. No gender specific, it's just an expression, the man cave. So in this case, John's man cave is his room. Why? Because there he has opportunity to be on his own. The reason a Divine Masculine will go into a man cave and look for, uh, sol I would say, solitude is because they want to access their Divine Feminine energy to heal. And if they apply the right tools, so if you have the right tools, then if, he's, if John is very aware and he applies the right tools, he will be able to heal himself. It could be that he uses some sort of meditation, uh, he could do um, affirmations, he could do um, processes, he can listen to processes, he can do some art, uh, maybe reading, whatever he requires, journaling. So this would be what he would, tools that he could have to um, heal. Now, if he hasn't got the right tools and he doesn't apply, he's not uh, aware or um, open enough to do that, what he will probably do is he'll sulk. He'll sulk and he'll stay in his wound as long as he can until he feels better and then he comes out of it. So these are the possibilities when you do on your own. And in that case, when you sulk, what it means is that when you, you're feeling better, you will come out of the sulk and you'll go out into the world and the wound will repeat. So that's why we recommend you, whenever you have an event where you're upset or something happens, some wounding happens, we recommend that you deal with the wounding straight away. You could look at our video here on the healing journey where we explain how we can help you to heal your wounds so you never have repetitions again and loops and loops and loops because every time it happens, it tends to be more intense and sometimes we're not aware of it so that makes you always not understand what happens uh, in terms of loop or repetition. Now, so now we know what John can do on, on his own and it's his choice but if he, he has another choice which is to call a friend or a family member or whoever he wants. For the purpose of this episode we're going to use a friend. Now let's say John calls a friend, a friend and this friend answers the phone and there's two things that can happen here. 
He calls a friend who could be on a divine masculine energy or a friend who could be on a divine feminine energy. Ideally, he would be on a divine feminine energy. And this is what we're going to take today. We leave the divine masculine for another day. And today we take that John's friend receives him in a very divine feminine energy. And that means that this person is going to be the holder of John's space. And that's all John needs to heal. Because the divine feminine energy is the energy that heals. Why? Because divine feminine energy needs, it's a, a space holder. Also, it's very nurturing. It's very caring. As we said before, it's very healing. If this person is balanced, even if they are wounded in themselves and in their lives, they will provide a space for John to heal. So John, how does that look like in your daily life? That would be like John telling her, her or him the problem that he had with the flatmate. He will need to uh, express himself. He will need to have someone to receive the space holder. He will need to maybe dissect or, or analyze the situation. Whatever he needs, he will look for this person to be a space holder. And how can you be a space holder? Basically, you are a compassionate friend. You apply compassion. You apply, you can listen. You could be someone who just listens. No judgment. You apply no judgment here. And these are just some of the qualities of a space holder. Okay? I'm not going to dissect any further because this is just for your awareness on how to be in a dynamic that can heal because you could be on the other end. This case, you could be John's friend. You might be that a friend of yours calls you in and then you now understand what is required to support a friend to help them to heal. So um, I hope this resonates with you. And if it does, please join us on our social media platforms. We have much more content there and, and other uh, the tips and tools that you could use for situations like this. But if you have any conscious ideas, uh, requests or suggestions, uh, please leave a note on the note box, on the comments box, and uh, we will be in touch with you. But otherwise, uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Like I said, my name is Liliana and bye for now.